I have uh, done a lot of work in terms of Wikipedia. I'm active as a Wikipedian for more than 10 years. I'm involved in the open access movement for more than 10 years. And it's at the interface of that that this project also developed. I was aware that many scientific journals uh, nowadays are publishing multimedia and that uh, open access journals uh, allow those materials to be reused in uh, the context of uh, Wikipedia. I'm here at the Natural History Museum in Berlin working on ways to make the biological or biodiversity literature more machine readable and more standard compliant in machine readability. And uh, it was helpful that I was exposed to things like hackathons where developers meet to uh, write code uh, quickly on certain topics that are related to Wikimedia or to open knowledge more generally. The project is a so-called bot, that means a script, uh, a software that runs on Wikimedia Commons, which is the media repository for Wikipedia and all the other Wikimedia projects. The bot does a number of things. First, it spiders a large scholarly database called PubMed Central, in which scholarly publishers deposit the text and associated materials of scholarly publications. Many of these are under an open license that allows reuse in places like Wikipedia. So the bot checks whether uh, a certain article is openly licensed. And if it is, it also checks whether the article has any multimedia associated with it, specifically video and audio materials. If so, it downloads those materials from that database, converts them to a format that Wikimedia Commons accepts, and uploads them to Wikimedia Commons, along with the necessary metadata and with some categories that make it more easy for people on Wikimedia Commons to find those materials. And then um, people <coughs> who write Wikipedia articles or who just search the web for materials on those topics, they can find the materials on Wikimedia Commons and they can then embed them into Wikipedia articles or into blog posts or use them in their teaching or whatever. Having more readers can lead to further interaction than if you just stick to your usual publication channels. So further readers might include just the public, might include scientists working in other areas that are interested in either your model system or in your methodology. I think it enriches the scientific exchange and provides new opportunities. My long-term goal is to make science more at home on the web. The core team consists of three people. Niels darkson Moskop is the coder. Um, Raphael Wimmer helped design the overall software and administers the server. And I basically run the project.